We're following up now with a puppy stabbed in Portsmouth. Last month, we introduced you to Smoke. The pit bull puppy was allegedly stabbed by her owner and needed extensive treatment during her long road to recovery. Today, 10 on your side's Tamara Scott shows us Smoke's new forever home. The big thing on Smoke's to-do list today is taking down this big stick. Two weeks ago, that was a lot different. When it first happened, she was cowering under my rear axle, you know, bleeding to death, and I, I just grabbed her by the arm and pulled her out. But today, the only issue is getting Smoke to sit down. Sit? Good girl. She has taken a 180 in the two weeks. She was allegedly stabbed by her former owner. This was the jugular wound, and there's... Another one here. And, you know, there's a stab there. There's a stab here, here. And there's one under her belly. Brad says she's healing nicely and getting more comfortable in their new home. Now his focus is making sure this never happens to another dog. He suggests emergency training. Everybody should at least know what a tourniquet is. Everybody should know if you encounter massive bleeding. And is working to create a nonprofit to list convicted animal abusers in the community. It's a line of effort to, to, to create to create change that benefits the community. Making steps to prevent repeat offenders. Because that's that's what's that's what's concerning. Brad says he may have saved her life, but she changed his life. We've been looking for like a lab or a German Shepherd or all these yuppie designer dogs. We were we were never envisioning a pit bull. But yeah, we would never, ever, ever trade her in. She's got all the elements that we need. Brad tells me right now they're in the process of putting together a board of directors for their new nonprofit. If you have any questions or would like to know more information, head over to wavy.com for a link to his contact information. Tamara Scott, 10 on your side.